Morning! We've got a lot of traffic gold here, first thing this morning. Just tipping it up now. Fingers crossed for him that it, uh, it comes out all right. To the daily vlog anyway, if you do like this sort of thing, then remember to press the like button and subscribe. We've got lorries, tractors, cattle in the background there. Right, it's well tipped up as that. Look at this. <laughs> so we're just blowing in a nice thick layer of straw for these. Another day, another layer of straw. Keeping them clean. So the traffic gold has been tipped off here. So this is a byproduct. So um, when they're manufacturing, I think it's ethanol from wheat or something like that. Extracting, it, extracting the ethanol, or I might be totally wrong here, but it's something like it's like distilling or whatever. Then they're left with um, wheat feed and Trafford syrup. They mix that together, and they get Trafford gold. And it can't really be used for anything other than to feed these guys. Um, it definitely has a price to it. Um, you know, we don't get given it, but it's better than it going to landfill, and it works out. A little bit cheaper than some of our other feeds so that's why we feed that but uh, yeah an in-depth explanation as to what it is i probably ought to go to a traffic gold factory at some point and actually find out what it is but um yeah we've, we've used it forever it's come on good out of the way come on so just been feeding these guys yes come on move it Oi, give up you're lovely, aren't you? You've just eaten my sleeve. Oh, we've just drawed these up. And then my dad's going to come in now and feed him. You're eating a bit. Yes, you're lovely. Lovely, 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 aren't you? guys are going this morning we just got to get a couple more out as well i think well started raining um but i'm gonna get in the daff and take these cows now that's the plan oh, right we're all loaded up and relatively dry inside here so we'll um we'll get these took and you never know we might see some machinery while we're there all right so i've made it here to york auction center we're gonna get something to eat in the uh, in the cafe there, and then we'll go and have a look around over there in the distance. We have some tractors and machinery. We'll check that out. So I've got bacon, lettuce, and tomato, and a drink. Uh, six quid, I think it was. Fair, really, when it's got salad on it. Right, we're gonna drive across and um, have a look at this machinery. Now we're driving this van here for Pete Farrow and Sons. Watch us the show. Oh, that was nice. People coming in all the time, dropping stuff off. Very nice Scania up there. It's a beast, is that V8? Going in to drop stuff off. Tractors everywhere too. Right, Valtra 163. 150 John Deere's, 155. Oh, look at this beast. Back in the day, this is what we used to have we had a mat bro first and then we went on to these maniscopics ml uh, a are they um, yeah mla that's it there it is um they were fantastic thought if they were telehandler whatever you want to call them look how look how low that bonnet is compared to ours on the jcb and um yeah they really were ahead of the time with them um, a pivot in the middle like there is on the JCB it pivots on the um, back axle so it was a little bit different when we moved on to them so it felt yeah a bit weird <clears throat> different way of driving well not a different way of driving but a different feeling look at that have a look in the cab to see if it's open no but you've got your forward forward and backward shuttle on there and you used to twist it to go up and down the gears joystick with buttons for your third service on the top um, and yeah handbrake there which is very similar to what um 
the, the TMs are still like. Well, actually, I think if you get a new one, you can get electric, can't you now? But yeah, yeah, that'll do somebody's job. It's quite tidy, isn't it? But a nine meter JCB, 53595, so just the model prior to ours, but it's Agri Pro. So I think that's the same engine as ours. Not much, not much in the way of tyres left on it. So I'm not sure how many hours it's done, but um, might have had a bit of paint on the back, has it? It looks like somebody's tidied it up nice anyway. I'm sure it'll do somebody's job on the ad blue, so it's not that old, is it? How old is it? 17 plate. Hmm. Got the fancy New Holland with the double steering, so it steers the whole axle turns right which is not normal so the, these bits normally turn right your wheel turns on there on the i can't remember what they call them hub or something is it uh, but the actual axle itself so when the steering wheel gets turned that weight block moves left to right gives you a tighter turning circle but that's been in a that's been in a few times as that so um maybe not met its reserve big t horsepower case here it's had a bit of a bit of front end damage there but apart from that, I'm sure it'll do somebody's job. Needs a rear um, glass, but you know, it'll do somebody's job, won't it? We've got a big class combine in, JCB there. Huge tanker. And we we'll get back down here to the Zeta. Look at that. That's unique, isn't it? get that on a uh, a road run a little case i wonder if anybody could tell me anything about that because that i don't know it looks different doesn't it i recognize like this i really do but i don't recognize like the back end like for some reason i don't know is it because it's like cabless and i'm expecting it to have a cab i'm not quite sure just did it have a cab? I think it did have windows. Hmm. Don't know. There's lots of bits of dumpers. That one, that's a little one, isn't it? Like three wheelbarrows full, you can get in that or something. I've seen a big digger down here though, I want to have a look at that. A Doosan. I remember I had to go on a Doosan at a rubber duck and it was, um, it was a nice machine. So, another one there. Somebody fetching some stuff in. It's better probably condition than my Cabelco. It's had a few knocks here and there, but to be expected. Got all its cab glass. Hmm. Only thing I don't like about these zero swing diggers is that um, I imagine they could get a bit like rocky. I think it'd be better with a big weight sticking out the back. Um, just hold you a bit more stable. But uh, you know, I know if you're working in a confined space, having one of them is is better. You're not going to wipe stuff out because you were. Uh, you never really go much further over than your tracks, but um, yeah, I think I'd like one with a big counterbalance on the back. Then you know you're right. Ah, well built, them things. Through the trailers as well, some cattle wagons up here. So yeah, JCB 3CX looks in good original condition. Doesn't look like anybody's tried to tidy it up or anything. It's it looks right, doesn't it? Teeny tiny tractor four wheel drive that as well, isn't it? I think, is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Wait a minute. This one? No. A Yanma. Nice. The combine's still in. Looks well, that. 
Must not have met her, it's reserve. Some uh, Grimmy harvesters. Not many uh, belts in there, is there? These guys getting stuff loaded on now. 8430. It's a beast, isn't it? Nice. There's fields and fields of stuff down here. And like busy bees getting everything um, loaded up or unloaded. Yeah, there'll be a few people use that a Matthew Ferguson drill over the years. All sorts of rollers. Power uh, combination different accord drills a lot of people will use one of them as well sprayers balers we got mowers here look at that for a sprayer hey it's a bit uh, diy lots of grass equipment toppers yeah uh, what we got down here buckets elevators all the stuff, tedders down there. I've missed this huge set of discs. Let me show you this. This is uh, this is some weapon. It had been huge in its day. Look at that, you can't see it really from the hidden sprayer, but look at that. That must be like eight, nine meters of disc. I bet that takes some pulling. Unfolds there, and then that is it's high enough as it is. Flexi coil. Wow. Yeah, you could cover some uh, cover some ground with that, couldn't you? Just making it chit at the end of harvest. So that side goes down on a ram, but these you have to pull down yourself, and then the spring will, I guess, help it pull it back up when you've done a day's work. I mean, eh? people won't be able to handle that these days, would they? Having to get off the tractor to unfold it. Plot hours left here as well. Stuff's come, still coming in to the sale, so we've got quad bikes. Look at this beast here, eh? Oh, Ka Kawasaki. On Friday, I think at midday, is the last time that you can get something into the sale. Just being um, told to come and look at this. The best car they've ever had in the sale is in here. that eh? <laughs> Working order but just may need a charge. Hey it's going back. <laughs> it does work. We got some other bits in here and a gator. Look at that that's an old gator isn't it? It comes with a winch on it as well. The mule. Is that a Kawasaki? I think they were, weren't they? Kawasaki mule. Wow, look at that for uh, a nice seat cover, guys. Eh? Tidy. And there's lots of um, generators and strimmers. More of the small stuff. All over there as well. It's not the weather for golf. Um, and I think I ought to probably be heading back to the farm. Because um, we've got stuff to do back there. Mixers and things. So... Um, we'll jump back in the lorry and get back home. All sorts in that one, isn't there? Bits of a plow. Cool, go actually, I've just seen there's a, an inside bit, so that's not as wet. We'll, uh, we'll have a look here. We were saying it's mainly um, construction stuff in this sale. Not as many farm machinery bits. Um, more towards the autumn, there will be more farming um, bits coming about. But yeah, ratchet straps and um, welders and good vice there. Could do with a new vice, to be fair. Our one's broken a bit. So yeah, um, bird scarers. Hey, that, that might not be a bad idea. I think they might just go missing. That's the trouble. And pallet trucks. Some kind of like winch. Okay, it's for a chain. That's fair, isn't it? There's some weight in that. I'll tell you what. 24 foot long. Loads of other little bits as well. Yeah, that's a proper welder, that, isn't it? Jeez, needs its own room. They do have cars, I'm guessing that's Ranger is one. We got a Mini Cooper S down here. A few bits and bobs like that. 
fucking times and it smells like that. Oh, look, a daft lorry. No, no, that's ours. Right, let's get home. Yeah, well, uh, leave your market behind. have a look at it's all an old mining auction as well so yeah I can get it on there look at the yard Ben's here we'll get biked up so Ben's moving stuff down to the house he's going to be having a bit of work done down there and I'm going to run off with the agronomists now and look at some crops top of the hill here which has been <coughs> eaten off by geese not quite as bad as we get further down and look there they are on here again so we better get them off please these the these are the really tame ones aren't they that were here yesterday ha they don't fly off finally they've gone oh and the rest of them that were hiding the other side of the hill well this is our wheat so we get that t2 Side onto here. Yeah, well, when it dries up. We're just having a look in the mirrors now, and look at that how that goes around the corner. Hey, the precision of that drill turning them off so we haven't got any mares going in that line there. That's fantastic. Fantastic if we could get like an inter row weeder to come and just take out all these. On that camera picking out picking out these plants knowing to, to weed in between side shifting and then lifting up as it comes to the end but that is fantastic it really is ben's just doing a mix we think all right oh we're gonna um, start feeding up getting bales fetched round bits and bobs like that Right, so we've still got plenty of work to do today. I want to drop the sprayer off, put the fertilizer spreader on, because I'm going to go and put some nitrogen on the maize. We also might put some, um, I think it's potash, I think. I might have got that right. I think we we'll put, I can't remember. One of the, yeah, we put something. Uh, that's coming tomorrow anyway, so that's why I'm a bit dubious as to what it is. Um, we'll be putting that on all the maize land before probably I need to use a sprayer. So we'll get that dropped off. Get the spreader in the background there on and um, yeah see if John Deere mix fields will go this evening I'm going to give him a call in a second and see if um, see if it'll go so then that may well be in tomorrow's video if you've liked today's so, though um, remember to press the like button and um, subscribe if you're not already what was your favorite tractor at York uh, machinery show let us know in the comments and um, yeah see you tomorrow thanks for watching guys bye